amazing uh, event the Amherst Chamber of Commerce uh, puts on every year. This is our third year participating, hosting the event, and we couldn't make it at all work if it weren't for the Hampshire Mall. The crew from Hampshire Mall, the housekeeping staff, the management here, uh, we are a community. We're here in, uh, in Hadley. Uh, we have this kind of village mentality. We're all family. And working together, we make it happen. Uh, we don't do this for any other reason other than awareness, so the people know we're still here. We've been here for 43 years. The facility opened in 1980, and we're thrilled to have been part of the facility ourselves for the last 23 years. It's uh, just a great time. Many businesses, uh, citizens of the area come out to enjoy this event, but at the same time, they're experiencing the hospitality of Interskate 91. We're here to do it. We love it. That's why we're here. I've got the passion fruit margarita with mint and basil from El Comolito here in South Amherst in East Hampton. I hope you enjoy. We have chicken fajitas as well as chips and salsa tonight. But we have a new one to our menu, which is the mazata margarita, which is the passion fruit with mint and basil that we're showcasing this evening at Margarita Madness. All right, so um, right, what I have here, this is what I started with. Mexico is a very popular drink. You know, I'm a big fan of turning something that's considered poor into something beautiful. So right here, you take the whole pineapple, the skin, everything, you add some spices like cloves, cinnamon, you know, anything much you pretty like. Let it ferment for a couple days, you drain it all out, and you get, you get this beautiful color pineapple drink right here. And then I took the pieces of pineapple, and I took the pieces of pineapple from that, so nothing goes to waste in that pineapple. But that's very important, wasted food is not a thing. Turn it into a jam, some anise star, some sugar, mix it for sour mix, goes all together. And, and then right here, so, so we don't do cross commentation, I did a... It's not soap, did a little, a little science -y foam base, put a top of the drink. With toasted agave worms, which is a delicacy in Mexico, the worms feed off the agave plant. It's considered like a, almost like a candy snack to them over there. And some lime juice, some sea salt, and that's about it. So we're from the Hangar Pub and Grill. This year we did a dragon's breath margarita. So it is a fresh red uh, dragon fruit mixed with a habanero ginger simple syrup. It's the perfect mix of sweet and a little bit of spice in the back. And we're going for our third year win in a row. No, no, it's not. So we have a dairy-free creamsicle. We call it Smooth Moves because we'll move you smoothly to your next home. So we got a little bit of mezcal in there, a little bit of smoky. We got a little bit of sweet, a little bit of honey pineapple juice. A little bit of lemon, cut it with the acidity. A little bit of tequila in there. 
it's, I mean, compared to the other margaritas, we got some pizzazz in it, some pizzazz, some zing. What? In on Boltwood, come and join us. So we're doing a split base mezcal and tequila with a grapefruit cordial, Aperol, and some fresh squeezed lime. It's a smoky, a little bit sweet, uh, got a little bit of spice from the tahini. Um, it's a tequila sunrise, so it's orange juice, grenadine, cherries, and oranges. All right, so I'm currently just plating up our pulled pork nachos, but our margarita today is called Revillo, which is all of our backwards. Um, that is this guy's dog's name. So if you vote against our margarita, then you must hate dogs, I guess. Uh, it's a fresh blood orange and blueberry margarita. Everything is fresh made, shaken to order, as you can see behind me here. And everything was juiced and pureed and put all together literally the second before we got here. So it's a... Uh, the freshest one around, that's for sure. Uh, we're at Table 14, Bistro 63, right across from the fire station in downtown Amherst. We are also the Monkey Bar, so if you just turned 21, then uh, you might not be able to get this at Monkey Bar, but you can get it at Bistro, and we're the one and the same. How you doing? Well, we're from Mexalito Taco Bar, downtown Amherst. We're located in 17 Kellogg Avenue. So right here we got the spicy piña fresa. So this is a little bit spicy, not too much. We got tahini on it, pineapple and strawberry. And we put agave, it's 100% agave and 100 great tequila that our sponsor, Burke, distributor, make for us. Rancho Alegre is the house tequila and Mexalito Taco Bar. Anytime, guys. Okay. Um, so we have a blackberry thyme margarita. Um, it is blackberries, thyme, uh, simple syrup with a little bit of salt water and lime. Aving about this particular margarita, all right? So what we do is we've got an organic strawberry mix with simple sugar, granadine, 100% agave tequila. Not too sweet, not too sour, not too boozy, but plenty strong. Come on down. So we're Amherst Intelligence Security. I'm going to pass it off to this man right here to go pitch us. Come on down. Hi, I'm Josh. I'm the founder and CEO of Amherst Intelligence Security. Amherst Intelligence Security puts computer vision behind your security cameras to give you real 24-7 monitoring, which means that all of your feeds all the time are always being watched, and that means you don't miss anything, and we give real-time notifications, which means that if anything important happens to you and your security guard doesn't catch it, or you wouldn't catch it, you get alerted via Slack, notifications, uh, text message, Gmail, any kind of real-time notification service. Uh, so I've got my house margarita, and then I've got all of my flavors. So I've got strawberry, raspberry, mango, and watermelon, and I serve all of them at Pittens. All right, so the coconut margarita we have at Garcia's is made with all fresh ingredients. It's got coconut milk. It's got 1,800 coconut tequila. It's fresh. We just made it a few hours ago. And after, after they put the margarita, we're serving in small portions. Like, I'll show you this one right here. This is the portion we're serving. And then we put a little bit of uh, coconut, shaved coconut, on top. The effect is fantastic. It's amazing. You gotta try it. It's pretty strong. When you try here, you'll find it at the restaurant at Garcia's. It's in the old Bartucci's building in Amherst. You gotta try it. If you like margaritas, try this. It's amazing. Do you just want me to tell you what's in it? Okay. Um, in this margarita, we've got blue carousel, which makes it this beautiful blue color. And then we've got orange juice, um, triple sec, tequila, and a lot of love. We love our margarita. It's blue. <laughs> That's it. All right, I'm Jenny from Better Together Dog Rescue, and our margarita today is the Orange You Glad You Rescued margarita. It is blood orange Pellegrino, fresh lime juice, triple sec, and tequila, and it's delicious. Uh, so this is our hair of the dog margarita, um, actually an apple pie margarita. has pear juice, apple cider, Cinnamon, uh, Grand Marnier, and 1800. All right, so my margarita is made of 100% fresh lime juice that we squeezed today, as well as the exact ratio of tequila, triple sec, and then agave syrup with hibiscus syrup added. Yeah, hi, I'm Jeff. I'm from New England Promotional Marketing. That's NEPM, not to be confused with NEPM, New England Public Media. We were here before. Uh, our margarita is the Mia Margarita, and that's got some amaretto in it for a little Italian flair, and everybody seems to like it. It's very upfront, uh, a lot of fruit forward, and uh, we're hoping to win tonight.
because I have the top three winners right here. Who will it be? All right. Okay. All right. Firstly, we want, oh my God, you guys. I want to thank Interscape 91, Business West, Applewood, Hampshire Mall, Affordable Ways, Hospitality Online, Amherst Coffee and Design Works, Arizona Pizza, Thank You SB, Superior Plus, Burke Liquors, Bacon Wilson, Liquors 44, Greenfield Savings Bank, Daily Hampshire Gazette, Resident Hand Insurance Company, Greenfield Northampton Cooperative Bank, The Quarters, People's Bank, Brick and Mortar, NEPM, Legacy Counselors, Amherst Intelligent Security, New England Public Media, and WRSI, WHNP, and all their stations, and Tommy Carr Auto Group! <laughs> Alright, okay, so, Carla, I want you to read. This is number three. Third place goes to... We appreciate it guys, uh, this is our second year coming out here. My team, guys, Kaya, everybody come over here please. You guys better work for us all. This is our second year, this is a great event. I think uh, we want to be fans forever. We want to keep doing it every single year. Thank you for trying the margarita. The way it tastes here is how it tastes in the restaurant. Come on, check us out. Thank you so much, guys. Let's 
Yeah. All right, well, if they still have margaritas and we'll still give it to you, then we'll keep having fun and networking, and uh, we'll see you next year. So if you weren't aware, I was told that the number one vendor or the number one participant with the best margarita was supposed to offer free margaritas the next time you dine in their establishment. So the next time you stop by Greenfield at the bank and grab some tacos or a steak, they're going to give you a free margarita. Oh, and I, I, I think we forgot to do one thing. The, gut, the, the restaurants that brought us food today, please thank them every time you go in there. And they did a great job. They kept us staff. So it, it's, hard, it's hard to have the extra staff and the extra time to do this for us. And they really did. So thank you. I just want to thank everyone who makes this annual a signature event possible. It's not possible without partners from all over the Amherst area, from the Hampshire Mall and Interstate 91 to hosting, to Tommy Car Auto Group, who is our presenting sponsor. Uh, and also we had 26 participants for margaritas. You know, we had a raffle. We had probably the largest raffle we've ever had, the largest number of sponsors we've ever had, and we also featured our local nonprofit, Safe Passage, for all their work in supporting uh, folks who are uh, experiencing domestic violence. So I just want to say thank you to everyone for making this possible. And for the Amherst area, we really showed up tonight and everyone showed up tonight. And we represented over 100 of our businesses tonight. So thank you for coming out and thank you for the networking. And we'll see you next year.